What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here and I actually just was scrolling through my timeline on Twitter and I saw this I, it's something I never thought was going to happen, but at the same time, I kind of felt like it would have because of the popularity. Yes, Konosuba is getting a dub. Not only that, or not only are they announcing that there was going to be a dub, they're releasing it next week. Uh, it is the 7th of when I'm making this video, and I just found out about this. I was scrolling through, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, we we dubbed one of your all-time favorites, Konosuba, and you can watch all of Season 1 next week. And looking at the list that they have... These four people as the four mains. I'm actually not too, you know, not too worried. The only problem, the only problem is Kazuma because Arnie Pantoja, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it, or Pan, um, Pantoja. I don't know enough about him. Like, I was looking him up um, in, on his IMBD page, and honestly, he's not known for anything anime related at all like there's a few things he's been in but it's on such small things he wasn't re-zero as a guy named khan who i i, I don't even know off the top of my head and i'm re-watching re-zero right now um i'm guessing it's a very minor character and he was in like he was like some additional like small voices in one punch man i think he was like jet nice guy i think was one of the names of the actual things but yeah this is actually a really interesting that i never thought oh that's plastic memories um <laughs> um i never thought that we were actually going to get a dub for konosuba and i felt like i feel like this is going to be a train where a lot of people are going to be very critical on this because I will admit the dub is one of the best of no, the subs so the Japanese dub the Japanese dub is one of the best Japanese dubs I've ever seen for a comedy and I and I'm 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 like straight up saying that that is this is definitely one of the best dubs in the Japanese side for comedies usually when I watch a comedy I prefer the English dub because the English dub usually does things a little bit better and they make it a little bit more culture based because Things that happen in Japan don't really translate correctly when they translate it for a Western audience. Some things don't really stick. But, yeah, they just dropped this out of the blue. Uh, I just, yeah, it, it, it dropped, they, they announced this less than, less than two hours ago. Um, the one, I actually had to look up a couple of the, uh, a couple of these people. Arnie was one of them, so he is a giant question mark. If he can nail the asshole kind of tone that Kazuma has I think he, uh, as long as you can nail that and the snarkiness you're good you're, you got it the one that I was actually really surprised and then after thinking about it really works really well is definitely darknesses uh Christina V um I actually have her uh I'm BD right here or Christina Valenzuela Valenzuela, oh my gosh, I can't talk. Do apologize. I, I just, I just know where it's uh, Christina V. But she's actually in a few things. Um, the most thing, the most notable character that I can always hear her in is League of Legends. She plays uh, Riven, Riven in League of Legends. But she's been in a lot of things, in all honesty. Um, yeah, she's been in Naruto. Um, granted, she like wasn't really major role, but that is honestly the first thing. And if I w re remembering Riven's voice, how it's very like serious, I can just imagine it, and then she can twist it into the darkness's voice. I think it will work. Um, it would be. I I feel like it's gonna be sound really mature. She'll have the moments where she looks like she's really mature. Cause I remember when they first introduced darkness, like oh, she's a pallid and very well respected, and all that and then they, then you find out more about her i think it's i think it's a good opportunity and that it can actually really work i'm just hoping that the voice director whoever's behind it nails it and i'm really hoping whoever their voice director is they make sure they watch and try to stay as true as they can to the actual japanese up but here's where i'm actually at a little bit of an impasse as much as I love the Japanese dub, I don't think it can get topped. So, the way to counteract this is if the English dub, when they do it, they make themselves stand out from the Japanese dub. Whether it be through different joke tellings, more delivery, it depends. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the times, like I said, when they do a Japanese Engl uh, uh, English translation, and they make it an English dub, especially of a comedy series, they will add things 
or change a little bit things in the script and, and, and it usually works most of the time. In fact, the, I, like I said, I prefer to watch a lot of anime comedies in the English dub because it just seems to hit the deliver a little bit more. But Konosuba was one of the ones when I had first watched it that it had hit that delivery from the get-go. So it's going to be really high really high level really high mark for them to hit if they want to if they want to do it that way i'm gonna keep i'm gonna be optimistic we'll see what happens um but for aqua the most useless goddess ever worst girl <laughs> by a lot of people's standards um honestly like i didn't know who she was at first until i didn't it's funny though if you look at this actually um it says fate mata i looked that up and I kept on getting things for Fate, and like Fate Stay Night and Fate Zero. I was like, no, 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 no. And then I looked into it more. It's actually Faye Mata. Um, and she's also in League of Legends as Lulu. But I think she also plays a Stalfo. So, yeah. But the one thing that I had most recently heard her from, besides the League of Legends, because I play League of Legends quite often, was I heard her voice in Kakegurui's English dub, which I think Kakegurui's English dub is, is very, very solid. Very solid. Um, it has it has its own perks that the Japanese dub doesn't, and the Japanese dub has perks that the English dub doesn't. Um, does, doesn't. So, but she plays Yumemi, um, who was the idol singer, and she actually did pretty damn good. She has moments of seriousness uh, and in the very, 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 very minute serious moments that aqua has so it can it, it, i think it could work um but she also has moments where it's going to be silly and i think she can she can knock it out of the park i i feel like she could if she uh it like i said it all depends on the voice director um and the last one that plays megumin who was i would actually probably say would be the most you have to nail it and they picked erica mendez and I'm not mad at that. I'm honestly not that mad at that. She's been in a good amount of stuff, especially anime related. But the most recently one that I can remember is she was in Agretzuko, who uh, I, I remember when I was introduced to that series. Um, but Agretzuko, she was the main character. The little ra ra raccoon? Fox? Raccoon, yeah. she was. A, I think she's a raccoon. But that was a great series by the way if you haven't seen agretzuko i'd highly recommend it agretzuko was really good she nailed that role i thought it was such a good role and she nailed it um she's also in my hero academia as malicia shield um let's see what other thing is that she in she oh she's also Di Di deanne in seven deadly sins she's been in quite a bit of things like i'm looking at a bunch of things right now and i'm like ooh, that's new ooh, that's new um she was in fate apocrypha um she was also in Kakegurui? Oh, shit. She was. That's Itsuki. Oh. Interesting. Oh, she's also Akko in Little Witch Academia. I knew that, but I totally forgot that she was Itsuki's. Uh, the, the, um, <laughs> the, uh, the daughter of the CEO of the, of that, um, game company, the... Interesting. I didn't know that. That actually works really well. I, I'm trying to see. I, I'm guessing she's going to have a high-pitched voice because, like I said, Megumin's supposed to be four, 13, 14, I think, in the actual anime. We'll see what happens, but I'm ready to watch this dub. I'm actually ready to watch this dub. I'm hoping I can get my roommates into it because I think they need... My, one of my roommates is trying to find stuff to watch. He's re-watching ReZero, but he's also, he's also re-watching it because my brother, who's also my roommate is watching it for the first time, so we're kind of re-watching it with him, um, and then he's going to be starting up, I believe, Code Geass, and I'm going to get him into, the, him into that, which I'm going to be enjoying, um, and I think they want to see something funny, because they haven't seen really anything funny outside of Baka and Tess, so hopefully, if they if this does good, then we'll go from there, but anyways, that's it for this video, let me know what you guys think of an actual English dub of Konosubo, or whether you're for or against it, I know a lot of people will say that subs are better than dubs, I've always been on the train of some dubs are better than subs and some subs are better than dubs. I, I, I kind of go more, you know, central in that argument. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I just want to give a little bit of my thoughts on it. And I think this has a possibility of being a fun dub. We'll see what happens. I hope they do well. I really hope they do well. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I will see you guys next time. Peace.